Hi, I'm Su Yuchen Wang, and let me introduce our work Inquire One's Parent and Child Before Decision, Fully Exploit Hierarchical Structure for Self-Supervised Taxonomy Expansion. This work was done by Su Yuchen Wang and Bang Liu from University of Montreal, and Rui Hui Zhao, Xi Chen, and Ye Feng Zheng from Tencent Jarry's lab. First, taxonomy is a hierarchical knowledge graph modeling is a or hypernemic relations. It is widely used in e-commerce and academia, such as Amazon product taxonomy showing the categories of goods, or Mesh maintaining the hierarchy of research tags. However, expert curation of a taxonomy is time-consuming, and taxonomies need to be updated continuously with new terms. Low coverage and inconsistency of taxonomy will hurt the performance of downstream applications. So the solution is to expand a human curated taxonomy with newly emerged terms rather than construct from scratch. For downstream tasks, we can update the taxonomy in such a workflow. First, concept mining, and then we add new concepts to the taxonomy and use the updated taxonomy for downstream tasks. Now let's define the task of taxonomy expansion. First, a term n is a node in or to be added to the taxonomy. And the C taxonomy, T0, is the original taxonomy to be expanded. It is input to the model. And the query Q is a, is a single new term to be added to the C taxonomy. And anchor A is a term in the C taxonomy that tries to be query's parent node in the current, in the current trial. And the task of taxonomy expansion is for a given Q, iterate over all nodes in the C taxonomy as anchor A, assign a score FAQ for each anchor, and we select the single best anchor A star equals argmax FAQ as query's parents in the expanded taxonomy. Previous solutions for taxonomy expansion include these three types. First, hypernemic detection models, either pattern-based or distributional, are hard to find the most suitable one hyperneme in the taxonomy. And taxonomy construction models construct a taxonomy from scratch, and this may introduce inconsistency by reconstructing the taxonomy. Other taxonomy expansion models include supervised methods. They need human-labeled training data. And self-supervised methods are emerged in these two years, and they generate training data from the C taxonomy, but features in the hierarchical structure are not fully used. Now, let me introduce our model design. In our model, we would like to add all relative nodes with query in the C taxonomy for explicit comparison. Here, relative nodes have two types. Anchor and all ancestors of anchor should be hypernames of the query. And the children of anchor would be siblings of the query. So they should share similarity with query. Thus, we designed the eagle tree structure containing anchor the ancestors of anchor, and at most three sample children of the anchor. The sampling process guarantees abundant comparison while reducing computational cost. The input to the model contains Q and the eagle tree of A to test the query as a node inside the expanded taxonomy. Different from previous methods that generates node representation by averaging surface names word vectors for MLP classification, we would like to directly discover node pair relations by pre-trained language models. However, the information in the relatively short surface name is not enough. So we designed a simple description generation algorithm to expand term surface names into a description based on word net descriptions. The algorithm models the problem as a dynamic pro programming problem. First split terms into longer noun phrases then translate each noun phrase by its word net description. The full algorithm is given in the paper in algorithm two. For each node in the input, we concatenate its description with query's description for a pre-trained distilled bird to detect its lexical relation with query. The distilled bird will be fine-tuned in the training process. Now for all nodes in the input, we have a representation of its lexical relation with query. Now we would like to test the coherence of the taxonomy. By saying coherence, first, it means it meets the previous standard that anchor and anchor's ancestors are all queries hypernames, and anchor's children share similarity with query. 
Besides, coherence also means taxonomy-related designs curated by human. For example, in a biologi biological taxonomy, each absolute level has specific limits of the node, while in e-commerce taxonomy, <clears throat> difference in relative level might, might indicate adding or removing a single adjective. We use a randomly initialized transformer encoder to detect the overall coherence. <clears throat> Each token for a transformer is a node in input. Its representation is the sum of these four representations. Four. First, the output of hypernemic detection module. The second, absolute level embedding, which is the embedded absolute level in the expanded taxonomy. Third, relative level embedding, which is the embedded relative node level compared with Q in the expanded taxonomy. And finally, the segment embedding, which is zero if the node is anchor, one if the node is query, and two otherwise. The transformer has two CRS tokens, which are two outputs for the latter pathfinder and stopper modules, respectively. We just said that the coherence modeling module outputs two coherence representation of the input ego tree with query structure. For the evaluation of coherence, Mm, the hierarchical structure allows two-dimensional evaluation. Path and level can be evaluated separately. The pathfinder acts as hyperneme detector. It evaluates whether the current path is correct. The representation PAQ is inputs of, a, of an MLP and outputs of pathfinder score. The stopper distinguished hypernemes of different granularity. It evaluates whether current level is correct. The stopper is designed to be a three classification module, which outputs three scores, evaluating which direction has better parents for the query. The forward score is the score that current anchor's children is better than the anchor. Current score is the score that current anchor is better than its parent and its children. The backward score is the score that anchor's parent is better than the anchor. In the example on the right, Ulong is the query, and we show the tag for Pathfinder and Stopper, respectively. In this, in this model, we generate training data from the C taxonomy to perform self-supervised training. First, in each epoch, each node in the C taxonomy is regarded as query once. Second, for each query, we sample four kinds of nodes in the C taxonomy as anchors. These four kinds of anchor nodes covers all possible combinations of Pathfinder and Stopper tags. And finally, we compute Pathfinder score SP and the three Stopper scores SF, SC, and SB, and compute loss LQ with multitask learning scheme. For the detailed proportion of the four kinds of nodes, please refer to our paper. And here, the eta is multitask learning weight, and we Weighted sum the binary cross entropy for Pathfinder and the cross entropy for Stopper in the loss. For inference, we utilize the four scores computed before. For a single anchor node, we evaluated it with the product of anchor's Pathfinder score, which evaluates its root path selection, and anchor's current score from Stopper, which evaluates its level selection. Its parent's forward score, which distinguishes the anchor from its parent, and one of its children's backward score, backward score, which distinguishes the anchor from its children. And here, the children, it, since a node would have mm, multiple children in the taxonomy, so we select the child with mask pathfinder score, since higher pathfinder score indicates better hypernemy relation with Q. And the fitting score is the product of the, of the four evaluations above. And here, we notice that if A is root, it, it, it wouldn't have a parent node. So we assign as SF parent AQ a smaller number, for example, 1E not minus 4 for the first level. For, for the first level, is likely to remain unchanged. And if A is a leaf node, it wouldn't have a, a, a child. So SB is CA star Q is, a, is assigned the proportion of leaf, leaf nodes in the C taxonomy. 
And for experiment settings, we use the previous benchmark dataset, SEMIVAL 16 test 13. It contains hypernemy-based taxonomy for three domains, which is environment, science, and food. We follow previous work theme and, the, and prune the taxonomies into trees. With 80% of nodes for training, 20% of nodes for testing, testing nodes are all leaf nodes, and 10 test nodes are separated at validation sets for early stopping. We compare our methods with two hyperneme extraction solutions, which is BERT plus MLP and HypeNet, and also three taxonomy expansion solutions. Taxi is the winner of SEMIVAL 16 Tax 13, and Taxo Expand and Steam were proposed in 2020. Our metrics are accuracy, mean reciprocal rank, and mean Wu Palmer similarity. Uh, the statist statistics of datasets is shown on the right. Here we show our results of main experiments. From the results, we can see that our proposed methods surpassed previous methods by a large margin, thanks to a lot of mm, different kinds of improvements. But we can also see that the performance drops when taxonomy becomes larger. So in the future work, we need a more efficient self-supervised training design. And for ablation study, we remove several key designs in our model and test its performance on SEMIVAL 16 environment dataset. We split them into two groups. The data flow group contains replacing word net description with the term surface name. Use Nigo nets in Texo expand to replace eagle trees and remove relative and absolute level embedding in the coherence modeling module. For scoring function, we modify the Pathfinder and Stopper module to test only training and using only Stopper, only Pathfinder score and current score, or only current score. Our findings are using descriptions for term instead of surface names can largely improve the performance. Eagle tree enables modeling of a complete hierarchical structure. Relative and absolute level features are important for recognizing different designs in coherence modeling. Path selection by Pathfinder and comparison with parent's child by Stopper all contributes to the performance. Compared to path evaluation, comparison with parent children is more crucial. And current only is identical to the simplest anchor query evaluation, and the performance significantly drops. For case study, we select two correct cases and two bad cases. For the correct cases, we can see that anchor's Pathfinder score, the forward score from parents, and the back, backward score from the selected child are all close to one, with the current score of anchor not too low. But for the bad case, we can see that the first one has incorrect description with its original meaning, so it is mistakenly connected to Y. The second bad case is because our processing of leaf nodes are inappropriate that the correct anchor was given a low backward score from children. These are all future works for the model. And now we come to conclusion and future works. For conclusion, for taxonomy expansion tasks, it's beneficial to model and evaluate all relative nodes in a hierarchy, because both the hypernemy, parent-child, and similarity among sibling relations helps for the task. And second, it's beneficial to in inject three exclusive features the relative and absolute levels contains design of the taxonomy. Third, it is beneficial to compare the anchor with its sibling and parent children, that is path selection and level selection. This helps distinguishing similar nodes. And fourth, it is beneficial to use descriptions for terms. It's it is a better input for pre-trained models and better understanding for rare and complex or new terms. For future works, for our model, for large taxonomies, we need to design a better self-supervision paradigm. And for model designs, we need to develop more efficient implementations to use the above features. For taxonomy-related tasks, we need to design tasks and solutions for simultaneously adding multiple terms, it involves adding non-leaf nodes and considering relations among new terms. And second, discovering and modeling structure-related features and characteristics to boost the performance of downstream tasks. And thank you, that's all.